Arrow. China's army sleeve dagger the QN-202 missile. Why do small missiles pack a big punch? Why can they put snipers out of business? Hey there, military enthusiasts. Today, I'm going to drop some seriously hot news and exclusive scoop on a mysterious and powerful weapon from the Chinese army that will absolutely blow your mind. Can you imagine? Quietly emerging in the Chinese army's arsenal is a secret weapon hailed as a sleeve dagger, the QN-202 sleeve dagger missile. This little guy first made its public debut at the Zhuhai Air Show in November 2018. When it appeared, it was like a bomb dropped into a calm lake, military representatives from Middle Eastern countries were wide-eyed and immediately eager to extend an olive branch of cooperation to China's defense industry. But China's defense industry had its own considerations and directly refused to sell. What's the story behind this? What makes the QN-202 sleeve dagger missile so extraordinary that countries are salivating over it? Don't worry, next, I'll take you deep into an analysis of this amazing weapon to uncover its surprising secrets. Let's start with the size of the QN-202 sleeve dagger missile. It's only 52 centimeters long, weighing a mere 1.2 kilograms. These dimensions are practically the same as a cucumber. But don't let its small stature fool you, its power is quite astonishing. Let's compare it to the US Spike Micromissile. The Spike missile is 42.6 cm long, 40 mm in diameter, weighs less than 1 kg, and has a range of 2,100 m. In terms of size and weight, the QN-202 is comparable to the Spike, but in terms of performance, the QN-202 is even better. The QN-202 has a range of 2 km and uses advanced infrared imaging guidance technology, giving it a fire-and-forget capability. The Spike missile, to control costs, uses a relatively inexpensive semi-active laser seeker, which requires laser illumination support and does not have fire-and-forget capability. This means that on the battlefield, soldiers operating the Spike missile must constantly aim a laser designator at the target, which is extremely dangerous in a hail of gunfire. In contrast, with the QN-202, soldiers can quickly relocate after firing greatly improving their own safety. This comparison clearly shows the QN-202's advanced design and how well it protects soldiers. This is not just a technological lead, it reflects a commitment to soldiers' lives, and on the razor's edge of the battlefield, this advantage could determine the outcome of a battle. Now let's look at the lethality of the QN-202. Although small, just one missile can achieve a 7-meter kill radius, plus a 2-kilometer blast radius, a power that should not be underestimated. Compared to traditional grenades, it's significantly more powerful. Traditional grenades typically have a kill radius of around 5 meters and a limited throwing distance, usually only tens of meters. The QN-202's range and kill radius provide soldiers with a longer-range strike capability on the battlefield. In urban street fighting, enemies often hide behind various architectural covers, making it difficult for traditional grenades to cause effective damage. However, the QN-202 can easily overcome cover and accurately strike targets. This is like equipping soldiers with an ultra-long-range sniper rifle, and this rifle's bullets are incredibly powerful and can automatically track targets. This enhancement of capabilities has greatly changed the mode of urban warfare, allowing soldiers to maintain the initiative even in complex urban environments. Speaking of urban warfare, we must mention the QN-202's huge threat to snipers. In warfare, snipers in desert cliffs and tropical rainforests have always been one of the biggest threats in individual combat. Currently, most of the world's elite snipers are equipped with high-performance sniper rifles, with an effective range of over 1.8 kilometers. They hide in the shadows, causing immense psychological pressure and actual casualties to the enemy. But with the advent of the QN-202 sleeve dagger missile, the situation is different. With its 2 kilometer range, it perfectly covers the effective range of snipers, and its 7 meter plus kill radius means that if it explodes near a sniper, even if the sniper is not directly hit, they will be affected by the blast impact and shrapnel. 
Under intense fire, the sniper's survival space is greatly compressed, and some netizens have even joked that the QN202 might temporarily put snipers out of work. Let's compare some European anti-sniper measures. They mostly use acoustic detection, infrared detection, and other technologies to find snipers, but detection does not mean elimination. Ordinary soldiers' assault rifles and rocket launchers are difficult to threaten distant snipers, and anti-tank missiles are too heavy and unsuitable for use in complex urban environments. The appearance of the QN202 perfectly solves this problem, giving ordinary soldiers an effective means to counter snipers, greatly enhancing soldiers' sense of security and combat confidence in urban street fighting. This has an immeasurable impact on the development of the war situation, especially in urban combat. From a portability perspective, the QN202's advantages are also very obvious. Ordinary soldiers can easily carry 6 to 10 missiles in their tactical backpacks, and they can even fire directly by hand-holding the launcher. Its launcher is also small and lightweight, making it easy for soldiers to operate. This clearly shows its advantage compared to some similar Western weapons. For example, the European Missile Group's Executor shoulder-fired missile system is not only heavy but also relatively complex to operate. On the battlefield, soldiers need to carry various equipment, and their load is already heavy. If the weapon system is too cumbersome, it will greatly affect the soldier's mobility and combat efficiency. The QN202's lightweight design allows soldiers to move more flexibly on the battlefield and launch attacks on the enemy at any time. This is very crucial in rapidly changing modern warfare. If soldiers can quickly respond to battlefield changes and strike the enemy in a timely manner, they can seize the initiative in combat. Finally, let's talk about the QN202's Research and Development Unit, the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, CASC, 8th Academy. This is a well-known name. The 8th Academy has deep technological accumulation and strong R&D capabilities in China's aerospace and defense sectors. The QN202 sleeve dagger missile they developed represents a major breakthrough for China in the field of individual combat weapons. Internationally, many well-known military industrial enterprises are developing similar individual weapons, but China's CASC 8th Academy, with its technological advantages and innovative spirit, has made the QN202 stand out among many similar products. This not only reflects the rapid development of China's military technology but also demonstrates China's independent innovation capabilities in defense technology. Compared with some well-established Western military industrial enterprises, we are no longer just chasing behind but have achieved transcendence and are at the forefront of the world. This is of great significance for China's national defense security. Only by possessing advanced weapons and equipment can we have a voice on the international military stage and better safeguard national security and interests. Alright, that's all for today's introduction to the Chinese Army's QN202 sleeve dagger missile. Military enthusiasts, if you have any questions about this weapon or unique insights of your own, feel free to leave a comment and discuss. Don't forget to like and share to let more people know about this amazing Chinese weapon. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.